You're not my driver. Uh, yeah, hi there. I'm Guy Marvel. And first off, it, it is an honor to be pitching to an award-winning visionary director. <sighs> it's another nobody with an idea. Picture this. It's a national park. It's peaceful, serene, yet yeah, like your typical normal day. We follow a good old American family. The hero should be a park ranger. But uh, it's about a family. So you're just gonna tell me your idea and I'm supposed to shut up? Uh, you know, we can make it about a park ranger. Yeah, that, that's fine. This, though, look, it's all about the message. Climate change. A heat wave thaws out a strange ooze. It's tainting rivers, the soil, the animals, you name it. After decades of Mother Nature getting royally fucked, she is giving birth to zombies! Uh, this is one of those movies. <sighs> Damn right it's one of those movies. It's gonna add a couple extra commas in our bank accounts, huh? Fine. I'll entertain the idea of doing lowbrow garbage. So our park ranger hears the distant scream of a family. <laughs> He's gotta go check on him, right? Okay, so we start in the park ranger's tower. I have a better idea. What if the main character was the owner of a bar? You see, zombies consume the life essence of the living, but they don't live themselves. I'm seeing a place where they can relax. They're zombies. I, I think you're giving them a bit more brain function than they actually have. Even the smallest creature with the smallest brain can appreciate art. Uh, W.T. Fuck, dude! This is a zombie movie about, about the environment. Can I just walk you through my idea? Nobody really owns ideas, but fine. On with it. Okay, so we're this park ranger, and we come down from our tower. You said something interesting there. The park ranger had to come down from his tower. Have you ever read my manifesto? I, I bought it, but look, I haven't finished it yet. Been busy, you know, life. Our hero takes the shortcut to the cabin. Of course. The good old American way. Take a shortcut. This way ain't easy. There's some awesome climbing. So our hero decided to take the longer, safer footpath to the cabin. Typical American. Choose to stay safe. Don't waste your time with any challenges. It's just a path. In the park, there's this cool zipline thing. <laughs> Only in America would things like this be fun. They are ridiculous and stupid. Ah, just forget I said anything. And then, we cross paths with a zombie bear! I'm not surprised at that. But it's supposed to be a surprise.
I think this story would be better told at night. No! Man, it's gotta be during the day. The audience has to actually see the environment. This whole movie is a message on the environment. But the darkness at night is more ominous. I want it to be set during the day. Night. Day! Night! I'm gonna just have to put my foot down! This whole movie takes place over the course of one day! Got it? That is it! Fine. That'll make shit interesting! sees the source of the problem. It is the toxic goo. It's infected the fresh water and created zombies. I like what we've built so far. But now I'm not really seeing the whole goo thing. I think if we crop out all of your ideas, we have something. I think we can take this idea and merge it with the ideas in my artistic manifesto. Maybe even show my book. What? Whatever, man. Fine. I thought we cut that plot line. I think there's more we can do with the ending. What ending are you envisioning? Uh, whatever. And by now in the film, it's night. Ah, why? It's foreshadowing impending doom. You want doom? How about adding a fucking blood dragon here to fuck them the fuck up? We put some fucking firepower there. He's in the car driving toward 
I don't fucking know. You hijacked my idea and, and made it a masterpiece of shit. And you're the most annoying person I've ever met. I might be annoying, but at least I made it in Hollywood. Fuck you! You, you fucking fuck! I'm gonna make it, asshole! Security! Get me away from this fuckface!